Hi, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, again, uh, welcome to my nonsense channel. <laughs> so, right now, this is my latest project. Uh, this is the second uh, version of a digital speedometer for Shogun. Uh, the old Shogun. The FD125XRM or uh, the FD125S known as Shogun Pro and Shogun R also Shogun Best uh, uh, our uh, original speedometer actually is a semi-analog so the speed is a uh, has a pointer uh, no LCD, the LCD is just uh, the pure gauge and uh, this one is already made plug and play so there is no rewiring needed on your motorcycle or just tap the tachometer signal onto your pulsar coil so in order for this tachometer to work you have to connect a single wire to the pulsar coil which is uh, also the signal input for your CDI okay so whatever the CDI uh, sends the RPM on this model will also sense that same pulsar coil okay so let's initialize so this is the initialization okay okay so First, so you can see there is a there's a gear indicator. Okay, so right now it was set to neutral. The neutral is zero. There's no N. It's a zero. Uh, there's the tachometer and tachometer backlight, which is the RPM meter. Okay, there's your speed. There's your odometer. If you can see. There's already a 6 km because I'm testing it and calibrating it to work on a 15 teeth front bracket. Okay, so it also has a 7 color backlight. Okay, so of course I'm there's a switch. Okay. Made a switch, it will be a place somewhere else on your uh, motorcycle so you can access it okay so to change the auto there's also another switch there's the trip there's the auto okay and there's your clock so to adjust the clock you have to press the yeah the auto switch auto trip meter switch so that you can change your Clock. Okay, I mean the backlight switch rather. Sorry. Okay, so I I push the backlight switch so I can adjust the clock. Okay, press the trip for the switch to change to. Uh, okay, uh, long press to change to minutes. Just an example, you can see there's a fuel gauge also. So, to exit, just long press the backlight switch. There, so change backlight, just press momentarily. Again, reset to reset the trip, long press the trip auto switch. Okay, but the odometer will not be reset. This is your original uh, data that cannot be reset it can only be reset manually okay okay let's try it so I have here on my uh, speed sensor uh, simulator that will uh, simulate the speed sensor fitted on Shogun motorcycle this is only for a Shogun model so because my motorcycle is a Shogun and I already have a Koso fitted also 
on my motorcycle this is a new version uh, for those who cannot afford the coso because the coso is too expensive okay. you can see my blog on my website you can see that my motorcycle is on a coso for me already modified or customized so let's test so as you can see the speed is running Okay, and the tachometer is also running. So, oh, let us increase. Okay, let us increase or put it on a something. Ah, okay, then, then let's put it in so that you can see how it works. Okay, there. See? Okay, let's. Uh, wow. So for you to be able to see that the tachometer and the speed is all changing, okay? Okay, the RPM is changing. Okay. So this is just a uh, simulation, okay? So if you place it on your motorcycle, the RPM will work. Uh, on your own this will work not in related with your speed okay. just like as you have installed the RPM at idle the RPM will work the speed will not and when you run your motorcycle the speed will work as well as the RPM so, yeah. Yeah, just, this is just an example that you can see the, the speed is moving on the RPM okay. so the signal light is also working but I don't have uh, any input in that pin I just want you to know that this is already a good unit in replace with the semi-analog of Shogun Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching